Roblox roleplay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have seen a fair share of pretty bad Roblox roleplay videos. Wow! Yeah, especially her fucking annoying ass woman. But anyways, today I found the sassiest Roblox roleplay YouTuber I've ever seen. Well, kinda. YouTuber girlfriend broke up with him for views. A Roblox movie by Shane Plays. I can't wait to see how this story turns out. Where is my girlfriend Tiffany? Hey, Cooper. We need to talk. Come on, let's talk on the way to the movies. We're running late. No, I'm breaking up with you. Well, diggity damn audience, not even 10 seconds into the half hour video and we're getting into it. I like this story already. You're not wasting any time and you're getting straight to the fucking meat and potatoes, Shane. Thank you for not bullshitting around like fucking Darman. Wait, what? Why? Because I'm over this. You're the worst boyfriend ever. You're poor, not famous, and I know you're cheating on me. That is probably the shittiest reason to break up with anybody you're dating. But then again, audience, if you're a man dating a girl that makes like astronomically more money than you, then you're kind of making a little bitch of yourself. Like, dude, your woman is making more money than you? Really, dude? Your woman is wearing the pants in the relationship? That's kind of fucking sad. But then again, this is a Roblox roleplay, so does really either one of them have money? The heck? Cheating? You know that's not true. I would never cheat on you. I need a manager! Yeah, what's easy the problem over here? I'm sorry, since when when did the manager of a fucking Starbucks jump over the counter like a piece of shit? Hey, what seems to be the problem here? Brody, you should not be talking like that when you're wearing a fit like fucking this. I'm Tiffany, the famous YouTuber. I want him kicked out. Yeah, sure thing. Take a hint, buddy. Hey, ah, put me down. Did you get it? Yeah, totally. It's going to be perfect. Good. I better get a million views for this. I'll be real, baby. If that was a real YouTube video, that should get less than a thousand views. I don't think anybody on the internet's gonna give a fuck about a woman that dresses up like a cupcake. I mean, unless you're this guy, but uh, I, I highly doubt that's any of us right now. Get out and stay out, you loser. Ah! So not only does the manager of Starbucks jump over the counter like he's fucking Tarzan, but also if you piss him off enough, he's gonna dismantle you like a fucking Ikea couch. Like seriously, this motherfucker got folded like an auntie and pretzel. You're banned from this coffee shop forever. Good for nothing, loser. Oh, man. I don't get it. I didn't even cheat on her. And we were fine yesterday. Why would she do this? Just because I'm poor? Yeah, you're so poor, you're walking to your fucking Tesla to drive away. You hear that, guys? He's fucking poor. I wish I could also be poor. Cooper, stop. What are you doing? Why do you care? We're gonna be late for our movie date. Date? You just broke up with me. What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh, that was just for a video. What? What do you mean? I broke up with you for my YouTube video. That's all. It wasn't real. You gotta be joking. That's so messed up. It's just for views, Cooper. Stop being so dramatic. Okay, being real, this is actually the mindset of a normal YouTuber. I'll go ahead and tell you now, audience, there's a lot of your favorite YouTubers that looks at literally everything in their lives as an opportunity for content. Basically, I'm talking about me. But uh, I think all the famous YouTubers that you guys subscribe to would also agree that uh, there's a fine line between reality and YouTube. Let's not break up with our boyfriends and girlfriends for YouTube views. I mean, if you guys really want to buy that car, you guys want to really buy that house, then hey, go ahead. I don't give a sh**. But Muffka, if you're breaking up with your boyfriend to continue buying shitty ass clothes like this, and bro, that is a waste of money. But I imagine as we continue watching the video, it's gonna get a lot worse. I'm not being dramatic. You just messed with my heart like that. Oh, okay, you feminine pussy. You messed with my heart. Shut the f*** up, you little bitch. You know what? No, I'm done. We're breaking up for real. You can't do that. Yeah, I can. Cooper, no, you can't break up with me. Cooper, wake up and get down here right now. Oh, great. What's going on? How could you be such a jerk, Cooper? What are you talking about? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Famous and fabulous YouTuber Tiffany has posted a video of her breaking up with her loser boyfriend, Cooper. Audience, what in the f*** am I listening to? I feel like I'm watching Anna Oop if she actually got mainstream TV money. The quality is still dog sh**. But she just has more money. Basically, it's dog shit, but you put a cherry on top of it. Who allegedly cheated on her, and it's going viral. What the heck? That's not true. Cooper is now the most hated person online, and rightfully so. What is this? Oh, great. Now people are leaving hate comments all over on my social media. 
good. You deserve it. You're an embarrassment to the family, Cooper. I need to call Tiffany and see if she's okay. And I want you to apologize to Tiffany for being such a jerk. Now go to school. You're going to be late. <laughs> Oh my God, Cooper, I'm so sorry for you, buddy. Bro, who are the little kids watching this video tearing up watching a Shane Plays roleplay video? If I caught my son crying over a Roblox roleplay video, I'll be smacking his ass up. I swear if I catch my son crying like a little piece of shit. Man, this day sucks. Everyone keeps giving me nasty looks everywhere just because of Tiffany's stupid video. Hey, Cooper, so the whole world knows you're a loser now. How does it feel? <laughs> Why does this guy sound like he uses my balls as a dining utensil? Cooper, you're a loser now. <laughs> Shut the f*** up, Pixie. I'm not a loser, man. Anyone who cheats on Tiffany's a loser. Dude, you're stupid. Don't believe everything you see online. It's not true. I'm not stupid. You are. Ha! Ah! What the heck, man? Imagine dating the big Roblox YouTube famous baddie to getting bitched around by your dad, your mom, and everybody in between. Even the fucking loser that's wearing hype beast bullshit. And here you are today with no clout, no money, no bitches, and laying on the ground from getting bitched out by a dude that's wearing Louis V pants. Holy fucking shit. If I was this guy, I would hate my life. Hey, Xander. Leave Cooper alone. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna go ask out Tiffany now that she's single. She needs to date someone cool and popular like me. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. I can't stand that guy. Yeah, this is getting out of hand, dude. Everybody at school is talking about you. I know, and what's worse is that this whole thing is fake. She just did it for views, man. You need to go talk to her. You can't keep going on like this. It's gonna get worse. I never in my life thought that I'd agree with somebody that's wearing a fucking galaxy hoodie. Who would have knew the level one no bitchian would have had such a great idea for this guy? I wonder how it's gonna turn out. I never wanted to talk to her again after all of that. But I think you're right. I need to at least tell her to go take down that video. Oh my gosh, girl. Your video is over 10 million views now. I know, right? I think I'm gonna get a brand deal out of this, Chloe. Girl, that literally makes no fucking sense whatsoever. How do you break up with your cheating boyfriend, quote unquote, and then you get a brand deal? Like, what the fuck? I mean, granted, ladies and gentlemen, 10 million views, that's a lot of money. But is it enough to get a brand deal? And the only reason you got that 10 million views was because you broke up with your quote unquote cheating boyfriend? Uh, fuck no. Tiffany, I need to talk to you. Ew, it's the loser. What do you want, Cooper? I want to talk to you alone. Whatever. We'll catch up later, Tiffany. <sighs> so what do you want? I want you to take that video down. Yeah, no way. This is really ruining my life, Tiffany. Everyone thinks I'm a cheater now, and I'm getting bullied online and in real life, too. Listen, Cooper, I understand you want this girl to take down her YouTube video, but listen, you can't just take down 10 million views like that, buddy. As a YouTuber audience, I would understand what it means to take down 10 million views. You see, audience, if you just remove views from your YouTube channel, you're not gonna get promoted more in the algorithm in your future videos. So, yes, while it may be morally okay to take down the video and boo 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 boo. F Cooper, keep the 10 million views. I understand, baby. And how is that my problem? Because you made this whole thing up. Um, actually, it was Chloe's idea. And so what? I'm making so much money now, and this is great for my YouTube channel and us. And us? What do you mean? Well, I mean, we didn't break up for real. And this will be good for us in the long run. I'm not taking it down. We've been dating for four years. And you said you love me. Was that fake too? No, I do. Well, if you really love me, then you would stop all of this act and just take down the video. My own parents can't look at me in the face right now. That's not going to happen. Now stop crying and just leave. You're being super annoying. Unbelievable. I know, Cooper. So unbelievable. How unbelievable to her to not take down $100,000 off of her YouTube channel. Listen, I understand she ruined your life, but dude, come on, man. It's a hundred grand. Dude, she won't take it down? What's gotten into her? I don't know, man. What's going on? Your phone is blowing up like crazy. Just more hate comments. It's been nonstop. Hey, I need an order. Pay attention to me. Uh, sorry, what can I get for you? I want a large pepperoni pizza with extra spicy peppers. Who the f*** are you? Is this motherfucker like Jeffrey Dahmer in a separate timeline? Well, actually, I want to get a pepperoni pizza. Shut the f*** up, Gilbert. That'll be 10 bucks. Hold on. I know you. You're Cooper the stupid cheater. 
not this again. Do you like being such a loser? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Have a good day, sir. I don't want it! Ah! Hot peppers! Shut up! This place is trash, just like you! Koopa, why is there pizza on your face? Go clean yourself up, you look stupid! Why does this guy sound like he gargles his mouth with my fucking nutsack? Koopa, you look stupid! You hear that, motherfucker? You sound so fucking retarded right now. I'm really curious, what other part of this guy's life is yet to be fucked up? I just hope all this blows over in a couple days. I want to forget about all of this. And Tiffany. Oh, come on! I am so disappointed in my son, Tiffany. I'm very sorry about all of this drama he's caused for you. It's whatever. I get to go on the Diane show next week and talk about it. That's great. I'm very proud of you. Brody, what the f*** do you mean that's great? Your son is quite literally ruining your whole ass bloodline right now. What the f*** do you mean that's great? If you really think your f***ing ass that's dressed like Steve from the Blues Clues is getting any money out of this, then yeah, you're f***ing stupid. Can you, uh, get me an autograph? Oh my god, what a f***ing simp. And duh! What are you doing here, Tiffany? You're joking, right? I mean, it's our anniversary. Or did he forget already? He probably forgot, since he has no respect for anyone nowadays. Dad, enough of this. Can you just leave us two alone for a minute? Fine, whatever. Just don't break her heart again, or I'll take away your car. Damn, so this guy already lost his family, his privacy, his popularity, and now he's about to lose his fucking Toyota Camry. At this point, bro, I would just fucking kill myself. Come on, loser. Get in. We have a date at Le Fancy Pants Restaurant. No, we don't. Get it through your head that we're not together anymore, Tiffany. Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go date someone hotter, richer, and way more famous than you. Yeah, so that is exactly what happened. You know this loser with the Louis V pants? Yeah, she started dating this guy. And how the main character got his revenge is that he opened up a fucking gym and he made a shitload more money than her. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, get the fucking bag. Anyways, yeah, subscribe.